Before you ship your first order with comments sold, you'll need to make a few selections from your dashboard. Click on the Setup tab and then select Shipping. The first step is to select your shipping cost. This is the amount that will be charged to your customer's orders. The default setting is $10. To change this, simply enter the cost you would like to charge and click Update Shipping Cost. If you ship to Canada and charge a different shipping fee for this, you can enter this next. Comment Sold does not ship outside of the United States, so for Canadian or international orders, you will need to use another shipping method. Next, you have the option of setting variable shipping costs. Typically, the shipping cost from the first step is applied to a customer's entire order. But if you'd like, you can charge the shipping cost to the first item and add an extra shipping charge for each additional item. For example, if your shipping cost is $5, but you would like to charge $1 for each additional item, you would enter $1 here. In this case, if a customer were to order three items, they would be charged $7 for shipping, $5 for the first item, and $1 for each of the second and third items. Your next optional setting is a max shipping cost. If you are using variable shipping costs, you may want to set a cap. If you do not want to set a max shipping cost, you can leave this at zero. It's important to note that the max shipping cost setting will override the other selections you have made for shipping costs. If you ship to Canada, you can also enable or disable this max shipping cost for Canadian orders. The next two sections deal with free shipping. If you set a free shipping minimum, any order over this amount will unlock free shipping for the customer. The default setting here is $75. If you do not want to offer free shipping at any dollar amount, you can set this number to zero. Again, if you ship to Canada, you can choose whether or not to apply this setting to orders from Canada. Enabling the free shipping window allows you to set the number of hours during which a shopper will receive free shipping following an order. For example, if you enable the setting and input 24 into free shipping window hours, Shoppers will receive free shipping for 24 hours after each order they place. Below, you can enter the text you'd like shoppers to see on their account page regarding the free shipping window feature and apply this setting to orders shipping to Canada if you'd like. We have just a few more settings to confirm prior to shipping your first order. If you offer local pickup to shoppers, you'll enable this option next. While you may not have shoppers in your comment sold system just yet, in the future, if you want to disable free shipping to those who have it currently enabled, you can come back to this page to see how many users are currently eligible for free shipping and to clear free shipping for users. If Combine Orders into the Same Shipment is enabled, when mass buying labels, only one label will be purchased for orders with the same address. Enabling Combined Barcodes will produce the same barcode for combined orders. The packing slip options allow you to decide what you want shown on packing slips that you print, including item prices, date and time, and shop logo. If you enable bulk printing of packing slips, packing slips will be printed in place of shipping labels. If you have combined local pickup orders enabled, local pickup orders for the same customer will be grouped together. Next, select if you'd like customer addresses printed on shipped packing slips or on local pickup slips. If you enable custom shipping price product, you will be able to set a custom shipping price for each product when editing it. Timed free shipping is a useful feature if you want to offer free shipping over a minimum spend and within a certain time period. For example, if you enter one for number of hours and $25 for cart minimum, the shopper would receive free shipping if their cart totaled over $25 and they checked out within one hour of adding their item to their cart. This setting can be enabled or disabled for order shipping to Canada. If your shop ships to Canada in addition to the United States, you will want to be sure to enable offer shipping to Canada. If you ship to additional countries, you will want to enable Offer International Shipping as well. Just a reminder, if you are shipping outside of the US, you will need to use a shipping method other than comment sold. 
The Fulfill All Printed Orders setting, when enabled, will set any orders marked as printed as fulfilled as well. The last setting on this page is Automate USPS Status Checking. Enabling this setting will help to catch any orders that were not marked as fulfilled when they should have been. If enabled, the system will check unfulfilled orders with USPS each night and mark them as fulfilled when USPS has an update on the package. We are almost ready to start fulfilling orders. There's just one more setting we need to take care of first. Click on Shipping Labels from the options under Setup. If you are using a Dymo printer, you will want to make sure your shipping labels theme is Dymo. If you are using a regular printer, you should use Side by Side as your labels theme. Now that you've got all your basic settings in place, you're ready to ship.